So, I wanted to make this video uh, a few days ago, but I decided uh, I'm going to make it now because uh, I kind of wanted to test run my new pair of headphones. And I know I think I talked about it in one of my previous videos that I really want some new headphones. And I've been looking at it through brands. And, you know, there are brands out there that I, there is still like a pair of headphones that I'm going to get that has, you know, the whole like 7.1 Adobe surround sound or whatever, or digital su or surround sound or. Whatever else that sounds really, really, really nice, but it's not much any different than a stereo head headset. It's just multi-directional, so you hear basically it's like hearing stereo in different points around your head. That's the only real difference from I don't know, maybe from what my information is coming from. But I mean, uh, the best example that I can really give to my channel um, and as a recommendation, if you want a good pair of headphones but you don't have a lot of money to spend. Me, yeah, I could easily just bought another pair of Astro A50s, which is which are like three hundred fucking dollars. That's expensive for headphones. That was the first time I bought some. That was an investment. You know, they're wireless. They're good. They got decent battery life. I can spend hours and hours playing the game. But then ultimately, you got to charge them. You can't swap out batteries. You know, there's a lot of different things that comes with having really good headphones. You know, sometimes you know you might have lag or some kind of issues or it might interfere with some shit like your internet. You never know. There's a lot of factors into that. So I bought myself a pair of headphones from a brand that has, you know, I watched different reviews and a lot of people are saying for stereo sound, it's still good quality because the size of the actual speakers that are like basically over your ears are bigger and you know, a lot of different factors and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have batteries you just plug it into the controller basically and it works like your typical he headset and I, I know what some people are going to be saying and thinking well that must be a really shitty pair of headphones um well i have to say i test drove um the hyper x x x or hyper x cloud x they're made specifically for the xbox one i, I know that they have a hyper x cloud 2 and it has 7.1 adobe surround sound uh, but it only works for PS4, PC, or Mac, and it doesn't have the capabilities of working on an Xbox One, apparently. So, for whatever fucking reason, because the USB, I mean, yes, Xbox One has a USB port, but it doesn't have the capabilities of running, I think it's called Digital uh, 7.1 Adobe Surround Sound, so it's based off of the USB. Instead of pl plugging it in the auxiliary cord, I think it's called, the AUX cord or whatever, in the back of the Xbox One. Um, cause that's how my Astros work with 7.1 Adobe surround sound. So, uh, so I bought these, they're stereo. They're only like about a hundred bucks. Great fucking piece of equipment. Um, as of right now, me spending a few days playing with them, they have a uh, great sound quality for being a stereo headset. Um, so they're like the top of the line stereo he headset. So they're like, if you take all the other headsets that are in the same genre, stereo sound without, you know. Uh, without the whole 7.1 Adobe surround sound or whatever the fuck it's called, um, then that's the best one you can buy in the market, basically. Um, the sound quality is really good. I can still pinpoint where someone's coming from left or right predominantly, and it has like a it has a small sweeping thing. So I can like I hear kind of like a little bit around my ear if they're on the right side or left side. So I can still pinpoint roughly where they are, and I come on. You know, I persevere or I win. Basically, it helps. It's actually not bad um, sound quality at all. Um, obviously, obviously, it doesn't have a 7.1 Adobe surround sound or whatever the hell it's called, but it's still a good headset. It's still really durable. Still really, really nice. It has metal in it, so it won't break as easy as some other headphones. Um, the sound quality is great. Um, music quality is also great because you can plug it into like your phone and listen to some music. Um, and in general, it's a really good gaming headset, and it's made, you know, for gaming purposes. And it's really nice for what it is for the hundred dollars that you're spending. It is good. You're, I, I feel like, you know, when I bought the Astro A50s, I felt kind of like I paid too much uh, for headphones that should have been, I don't know, like two hundred dollars maybe at the max. And I felt like I was paying for the brand. No offense to Astro. I still love that company when it comes to gaming headsets. But HyperX has something where I don't have to spend so much fucking money and still get good sound quality. 
And I have to say, the mic, the fact that I can communicate without interference, like I had with my Astro A50s, that was the biggest issue and concern with me. So, anywho, I hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully, you enjoyed the commentary and my little review about the HyperX X Cloud. If you liked the video, hit that like button. I'll leave me a comment and subscribe. I'm the Mitten, and this is my little short little video for you today. Peace.